Setting up a campaign on Cassie is very simple. Once you're on your dashboard, all you need to do is click on the new campaigns button. You can give it a name. You can change this name later when, uh, uh, from the dashboard if you need to. So for now, I'm just calling it test. You save and continue. You can enable Teams functionality on your dashboard. If you enable Teams functionality, you can pick a team that is going to manage your campaign. Save and continue. I've got two options here. One, I can run this campaign as an ongoing campaign where it runs like Facebook ads and I set an hourly budget or a daily budget and it'll honor that budget. Or I can set a short duration campaign for two days or I can run a campaign for two months if I need to. Um, for now, I'm going to walk you through an ongoing campaign, which is a simpler uh, way of running your campaign. Save and continue. There are two options again. One, hand select boards. If I know what boards I'm looking for, I can hand select those boards. I can micro target. Or I can set a target location. I can say that I want to target this address and I want to target all the screens within 500 meters or, or you know, 1,000 meters around that uh, uh, the target location, I can do that. And for now, I'm looking at uh, the uh, hand select boards. Well, uh, I'll walk you through that uh, particular option. I select that and I save and continue. Now, since I'm uh, picking the uh, hand select boards, it's going to drop me into my city of uh, interest or where I'm located. Um, currently, I'm in... Uh, Brisbane, uh, I'm looking at Acacia Ridge. All the screens within that area will be populated on the map. If you click on any of those buttons, you will see what sort of a screen it is and how much, whether it is available and how much it's going to cost you per play. So this is a 30 second uh, ad and it costs you about 37 cents per, per ad play. It also, as you scroll further down, you can see the specs that you need for this particular board. This one accepts video and also static files, JPG and PNG. Uh, the size of the uh, artwork would be 1920 by 1080 uh, pixels. I can add this to my selection. And if I click on uh, the map again, you'll see other uh, boards that are there in the uh, on the map. Um, I can also filter, I can filter by the type of uh, boards that I want to see on the map. If I click on custom, there's a list here. If I want, only want to see billboards, I can click on billboards. Only billboards will show up on the map. If there are any billboards in the area that I'm looking at, it should show up there. Um, looks like there aren't any billboards in Acacia Ridge, but in the neighboring um, uh, suburbs, I can see some uh, billboards. I can click on that. It gives me a bit of information of you know, what sort of uh, uh, billboard it is and what the uh, resolution that I need and the duration of that ad. It gives me all that information. I can add that to my campaign. I can use the polygon tool to select the whole area if you need to, if I need to. I can select the whole area and all the screens within that selected area will get added to my campaign. Currently, I've got about 11 uh, boards selected and it tells me that I need to allocate about $61 per hour to get one ad every every 8 to 10 minutes. If I save and continue, it gives me the option to pick the time or the schedule of my campaign. I can leave it always on, which means the campaign will be on 24 hours a day if the uh, boards are are on 24 hours a day. If I click on the uh, custom schedule, I can pick the time that I want my ads to play. I might say that I want my ads to play between 7 and 9 in the morning. And I might also pick the time between 5 and 7 when uh, vehicles return home uh, from the city. I can pick any lunch time if I need to. Uh, I can just about I can pick any time that I I think that I want my ads to be live. Let's save and continue. Um, 
I've got a choice here between hourly budget and daily budget. If I click on the hourly budget, you know the target is about $61. If to get one ad every eight to 10 minutes, if I need more number of ads during the hour, I might say that I need, I might uh, set the budget as $100 an hour, which means I'm going to get more number of ads during that hour if uh, space is available. Or I can say that I don't have $61, but I can spare $50 per hour. I can set that up as well. I can also set a limit. I can say that once it hits $500, I want my campaign to stop. So if I top up my account and let it play, it should play for 10 hours and it should stop. Or I can leave it as no limit. If I set it as no limit, uh, if I top up my account with $500, it'll run for 10 hours and it'll top. It'll stop. If I top up my account with $1,000, then I'm likely to get about 20 hours of ad play and it will stop. So it's, it's really up to you whether you want to set a limit or you want to leave it as no limit. Enable auto top up to top up your account as it drops and the campaign will continuously play till you want it to stop. You can hit your stop button once uh, uh, once you've set your campaign. I'll, I'll walk you through that. Save and continue. Um, here's where you upload your artworks. Now, it tells you you need nine different resolutions. Now, if you do not have the artworks ready now, you still can go ahead completing the campaign. I can, can come back and upload it later. Um, you can also download the specs that you need. You can pass it on to your designer to get all these artworks ready. And once the artworks are ready, you can upload it uh, into the bulk uploader and that will populate these cards depending on what resolution uh, matches the ones that uh, you've uploaded. I'll save and continue. Now, this is a summary of your campaign. It tells you how many, what hours that you've picked, what budgets that you've uh, selected and how many boards you have selected. It also gives you a bit of warning on you know, what um, sort of uh, uh, budget you have set, whether or not it is enough or not do you need to increase your budget. Um, it gives you those warnings. It also tells you that you, know, you haven't uploaded enough artworks and which, which we know. If I save and continue, this is the end of your campaign um, um, setup. It will drop you into your campaign dashboard where you can change every uh, setting. So currently the campaign is not live. You have to hit your play button before it goes live. You need to upload your artworks and you know that. Um, you can drag and drop all your artworks into the bulk uploader and this will get populated. Once the artwork is uploaded into your artworks, it comes to the artworks department to vet it before it is sent to the uh, media owners. Once the media owners approve it, the campaign should be ready to go live. Um, you can pause and play, as I had said. You can change the uh, spin uh, in your campaign. You can, at any time, while the campaign is live, you can increase or decrease uh, the your, your spin. You can change the schedule. You can change the artworks. You can add or remove boards, or you can even change your uh, campaign name in the miscellaneous tab here.